What is going on, my homie fam dogs, home slices, fam slices, and <laughs> whatever I'm going to call you guys. Today, we're here with KFC Dating Sim, and I've <laughs> finally got some people to join me along this ride because they were boomers, weren't you? Yeah, we got Colonel Son Beard. Hi, show. Why Dating did you put Sim. Sprinkle Me Baby in the group chat? I did not pit Sprinkle Me Baby in the group chat. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. I did that intro with my OBS studio open, so it just caught all of that. What is going on, my homie fam dogs, home slice fam slice, whatever I'm gonna call you guys. Today we are here with I Love You Colonel Sanders with the boomers that refused to do this for like three weeks. Three weeks? Yes. Yeah, what going on, I want to tell you? The best? I I couldn't even make out a word you said. That's the point. <laughs> yes. The PC PP. I'm so sorry. I that that's that's not staying in the video. That's wow. The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes the sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't we been here before? I don't know, have we? Top of the morning, top. All right, oh, here's man. where we left off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and <laughs> suspicious spacemen. All right, so everyone, get your roles together. I'm all the women. You're all the women. That all right? Cool. I I will be, of course, myself. I think I it would make sense if I was also Colonel Sanders. Do you have enough vocal range to be pop the effing stove thingamajig? I don't think I can be effing pop. Why can't you be pop? I don't like pop. Well, you You're don't literally like high pop. enough pitch to be any. You <laughs> have your voice acting for KFC Simulator. Yeah. No! <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. Oh, monkeys. You oh. like pink nuggets. Oh, hey, hey, hey. YouTube friendly. YouTube friendly. <laughs> <laughs> New partner, I'll smack the crap out of you. you whoa, whoa, whoa! You blew like a stove. <laughs> top of the morning, top of the morning. Top. I think I'll be pop. I can be pop, as long as Target Farms are literally everyone else. Elisha, what even okay. is your high pitched voice like? Do what I would, have to? What would you a high -pitched higher voice? It's a child. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but like, do I have Can you to? sound small? No, I can't really sound that small. Mm, sound like a whole F and F character. Oh my, two potential partners. Oh, that's I'm hot. so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Oh, that's so hot. Anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you have to pay for not being for- uh, uh, That's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? We got Popper Clank. Put your votes in you the give chat me right now. If you give me Pop, I will murder you. Whoa, okay. We're picking Clank? Clank is cool. Clank for the dub. Alright, Clank for the dub. That face he's making is a little awkward. Oh yeah, I forgot my name's Child. Mm. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. This fat son of a... It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. That is so sad. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and finally begins to roll back and forth. You guys, you guys really did that to Clank. You made him heat up. That's a little sus, honestly. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, Miriam X Clank, hello? Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. He's... <laughs> Issue? I hardly know you. Aha. Uh -huh. What? What is going on? What is this conversation? What is happening? 
the plank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Alright, and that's going to end off the video for today, guys. Thank you for joining in with me today. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. You'll too be fine. <laughs> now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> just like a mix between old and constipated. Who <laughs> uh, <laughs> sprinkles? Is an island. It's it the takes dog. Two to make a fire. You get the idea. I do get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak Tatari seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Use grandma. Shout out for grandma. <laughs> Use grandma. grandma. All right. <laughs> I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. And gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders cast a... <laughs> You don't like mashed potatoes and gravy? I like both, but I can have mashed potatoes just by itself. True, but then again, we're in Colonel Sanders' dating simulator. Like, we gotta impress the man. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. I know. Maybe he's, like, in a different league. Maybe gravy is, like, the essential topper of mashed potatoes that you think we didn't need, but we always needed. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes! No place. Let me. Picking perfect procedure is a passion of mine. Or produce. That red produce didn't it. Oh! Yep. It's... Ashley oh. with on too many characters. In Looks there. like things are pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? <laughs> I child. put my hands on my hips. <laughs> Good. You're oh, getting man. into it. You're getting into it, man. We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business, Ashley. Or should I say, Ashley? Sanders heart <laughs> is my business, and you'd better keep your fingers off my of my man. Ashley can die. Hey, oh, Dargan, you want to be Van Van? I want to be Van Van. He even has a different music for when he appears. It's like hard rock right now. It's a Ah, no, jeez, Van Van. While well, I'm over here crushing child's dreams. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! You're supposed, to, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal. Remember? Why is she, like, crazy? She hurt Van Van's feelings. Colonel Sanders returns, <laughs> arm full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into the boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, I'll eat that. Ashley, Van Van, are we working at a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no, it looks like Child was struggling, oh. so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I'm a literal- I'm a literal child. <laughs> what do you expect of me? I'm basically Pop. I was going to say, maybe I should offer to you a fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Van Van's gonna get... to hurt. Don't be rude, Van Van. Actually... Bruh. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried simp, chicken was quite simp, simp, spectacular. Zap. 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 
But Colonel, if you ask me, Sam. I might make a better partner for you than this thing that Quick has thought. been such so <laughs> 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 She has chicken legs on the inner part of her stockings. Do you feel deep down that we cast <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. Hey. It just makes sense. That's a little <laughs> sus, Ashley. I. <laughs> Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear she's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Addy Ashley is going really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks, in, t in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, and forever I don't want buzz. Hunk of hunks. <laughs> He's hunk of hunks. Turn to Miriam, your favorite bestie, who's always at your has your back. I think Miriam, <laughs> maybe. Oh yeah. Used a touch screen for this one. You turn to Miriam, and as soon as you find her, she see, she eh, she senses it and looks back. This girl's friend in need radar is second to none. She immediately comes running over. She's going super somebody, Saiyan. Somebody is somebody <laughs> threatening my friend. I will destroy them. Whoa, that was the most passive. I will destroy them. I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think that Ashley and Van Van were just leaving. <laughs> leaving you in the dust? Viz of my skills as a chef? <laughs> Is that how you say that? Viz I don't know how to pronounce vis -a -vis. that. Viz -vis. Viz -a -vis. V V A V. My skills as a chef, perhaps. Stepping away from this competition? You are sorely mistaken. Okay. You're a loyal friend. But child is my partner for today's activity. You look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. Stature. You look down at your station and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. That seems dangerous in many different ways. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and a cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps. You know so well why your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gray boat. Gravy boat. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding a whole boat in his hands. Mm. Out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Oh, oh. <sighs> Randy, very gravy floats down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. This is getting me hungry for KFC. Honestly. Oh! Oh! You know what I just remembered? The potatoes is a KFC side dish. So of course that makes the right choice, right? Yeah. yeah. Duh, I didn't think of that. Did you guys think of that? Was was I just I did. bad? Yeah. I did not. I think you're just bad. I think I'm just bad. <laughs> I also did it because I was a mom. I I, I, I kind of heard I, grandma's I, and I got. I knew that I knew that KFC didn't have calamari or whatever the other thing was. Girdle Sanders holds out a spork to you. No, no. Anyways, you reach out and grab hold of it, but it doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Irish lie with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be up with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Van Van, do something, do something. 
scooping up a fingerful. Van Van tastes the dripping. Mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on there, child. We do not have food. We do not waste food in the broom cooking <laughs> area. not have food in the broom cooking area. I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both be better, better prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. I'm down. This kitchen floor looks clean as mess, dog. Uh, hello? Can I <laughs> have... Wait, what? <laughs> it's your voice. I'm not oh, Pop. Yeah. I'm, it's not. I'm not Pop. Yeah, yeah that's that's. I, know, I forgot I was Pop. I, I because you did it. What of you? Can I has potatoes face? Whoa! Van Van rushes back over. A covered dish in his hand. A hand which is bigger than Pop's face. This is you. And those little gravy. Just done it. In just a few minutes, I have to say a full meal based upon my speciality. My break and the of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Sitting on a battle axe. Battle axe. <laughs> it's battle axe. I thought I was axe blade for the movie. Forward with my supreme chef ancestor. Supreme is... chef ancestor. <laughs> what chef cooks on a battle axe? Awesome. I'm going to be too long. That ends now. It is I who will have this much fight, and you will all look at me with envy. Oh? The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. The thing about this dish doesn't suck my nose, but like, I think the octopus is rushed, and he may have turned in the process. There's also the caustic! Jesus Christ, Van Van! Too late, it has been eaten. <laughs> it's a I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. What do you mean? He's gonna run away. Yep. I don't feel so good. Mr. Stark. It killed him! killed <laughs> 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 him. <laughs> no! That is very much so illegal. We just there's a death in KFC dating simulator. We just killed a man. Oh my goodness! Food Everyone wars step back. Don't take another bite. I know it just killed this man. When you look back at the plate, the rest is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up into Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a second. And then is almost immediately back to his obvious self. Oopsie. What is Pop's power level? Okay. Let's talk about this for a second. It's over 9,000. Like, Man yeah. died. <laughs> <laughs> and Pop ate the entire plane just like, oh, well, I'm fine. Tastes like poison. Tastes like poison! Is Pop the strongest character here? <laughs> Hello? The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious dangers, has inoc inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. So he's just immune. He's a mortal. Immune to all poison. I think that's just illegal. Pop is just an immortal being that just <laughs> <laughs> in a child's body. I just really like food. I'm not sure the, pro the professors here make enough money. Um, hello. <laughs> oh, both over here. That's tough. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. What did- did he deserve death, though? He's still on the screen, like everyone sees him. I know, he's ghost. just here. Straight in his face, too. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. <laughs> you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, 
The school building has taken on another in vibe entirely. It's dark and more spooky than a little spooky. Maybe it's because a student just died. <laughs> 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 you know? Darn straight. Someone really died on site. Really did. Colonel Sanders. Just died like five minutes ago. <laughs> speaks softly. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was. That actually caught me off guard. So charming and earnest. I'm gonna F the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's F the stove. <laughs> if only we had my little brother, he would literally he literally sounds like Pop. He would actually be Pop. That would be hilarious. He would Pop. <laughs> would be a perfect Pop, I'm not gonna lie. That would be tough. <laughs> Mr. Record button. I think I pressed the record button. Hopefully I did. Let's check one more time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did press the record button, thank goodness. Put that at the end of the video. Like that would be so sad.